The following is a selected video from yourteacher.com where you can browse over 450 complete math lessons with example videos, interactive practice problems, self-tests, and more. Try a complete lesson today at yourteacher.com. In this example, we're asked to find the area of the trapezoid shown. Since we're given that the lengths of the bases, or the parallel sides of the trapezoid, are 13 and 17, let's use the formula for the area of a trapezoid that involves the bases, which is area of a trapezoid is 1 half times height times parentheses base 1 plus base 2. The problem is we don't know the height of the trapezoid, so let's draw in the perpendicular segment shown, which represents the height of the trapezoid, or h. Next, notice that the trapezoid is isosceles because its legs, or non-parallel sides, are congruent, so let's draw in a second perpendicular segment representing the height, which creates two congruent right triangles on either side of the trapezoid and a rectangle in the middle. Now, remember that opposite sides of a rectangle are congruent, so we know that the missing side of the rectangle has a length of 13. And since the right triangles on either side of the trapezoid are congruent, we can give the missing leg of each right triangle a length of x. To find the value of x, notice that the segments that have lengths of x, 13, and x make up the full segment that has a length of 17, so the segment addition postulate tells us that x plus 13 plus x equals 17, or 2x plus 13 equals 17. And solving from here, x equals 2. Now to find the value of h, we can use either of our right triangles so let's use the right triangle on the left. Since we know the lengths of two of the sides of the right triangle, we can find the length of the third side using the Pythagorean theorem, and we have 2 squared plus h squared equals 8 squared, or 4 plus h squared equals 64. Subtracting 4 from both sides, we have h squared equals 60, and square rooting both sides, we find that h equals 2 root 15. Now to find the area of the trapezoid, since the height is 2 root 15, base 1 is 13, and base 2 is 17, we can plug this information into our formula to get 1 half times 2 root 15 times parentheses 13 plus 17. Order of operations then tells us to simplify inside the parentheses first, so 13 plus 17 is 30, and we have 1 half times 2 root 15 times 30. 1 half times 2 root 15 is 1 root 15, or just root 15, so we have root 15 times 30 or 30 root 15. So the area of the trapezoid shown is 30 root 15.